you guys so today we are going to see about so how to draw elevation in our AutoCAD so now first of all we have to change the units in which units we want to draw so I'm going to take it the architectural click on this precision 00, zero and the insertion scale is inches so now click on OK so after that go to D and F. so there you can see the dimension style so go to modify select primary units click on architectural 0 so I am changing my arrows to architectural tick this close fill up or click on ok click on set current and close so now we are done So now uh, we will draw the plan. So we are taking a facing of 36 feet. So this is my length of 36. So 36 feet facing. <coughs> so my building height is. So if we see from here to my first floor, from the ground level to my first floor, it is 11 feet height. So again, my second floor height is 11 feet. And then after this is the terrace terrace so I'm going to give you us six feet so total you know how much we have the height height of 28 feet so we're gonna take the height of 28 feet building so this is my width of the building so now I uh, will keep the offset of my front front walls which is used for the covering of our gates or everything. So I am giving a height of 5 feet enter. So this is my gate height. This is my end. So this is my first floor. So this is my ground, and this is first, and this is terrace. So now uh, we will take a distance of ten feet. That is our. So that is how much for our staircase. So or else we can take here. So this is of 3 feet, 3 and this 13, so how much 16 and this 1 1 feet, so it is total of 17 feet, so I am taking a 17 feet offset, click over here and project this, why right, because it will cover all the staircase part so now we have this one is our balcony so we will join this part okay, we'll fill it so it will join it so we will do this or else I am moving to here. <coughs> so again I will draw this also. 
is of 6 feet and I am joining this so I am going to move this to here so this is my building overall so we can have this so this is the for walls so now we will draw some plan over here so I'm taking some so I'm telling you how to draw plan so that's why I'm telling you so from here to here we will place some grids over here like this so grids so for that grids I'm taking a span of uh, two feet so this is the pad line patterns of two feet so again I am taking the offset of three inches and I am selecting three inches ok wait uh, we will trim this one I'm going to take it as single line. So now I will make an offset of three inches. Enter. Select this point. Select here. And then after we're going to give a glass. So we're going to take glass off. Two feet, two inches one. I'm selecting here or here. So you can see. So firstly, you have to measure our house dimension so that we can draw our plans easily, so that no issues will occur. So okay. So I'm making some this part like this. So for this, I'm taking offset of three feet. I'm selecting this one and click the L enter. So I'm joining these parts. So or else we can move this. So a little bit here. So I am drawing some roughly diagrams only. So I am taking a line over here. So here we have this. So we will start over here only. and we will end by here. So trim the unnecessary parts. So we need to trim the parts by the time or else we get confused. So we have placed a window so I am going to take this center line. So I am going to take this center point also. Two windows and I will make So we will have to measure these dimensions. Five feet, six inches. So take the offset. So we have to half it. Two point five feet three inches. So I'm taking the opposite one. 
so here we are done with our mirror so i will provide a dot the offset taking offset of one inch providing over here and over here so i am taking inlet to join this lines this line and this line so again enter so if you click on enter all space the which command you have done recently that will repeat so like this one so you can uh, increase this pointer so by right click here go to options so go to selection so here you can make this size on ok so here you can see the size has increased so we are done with our model so we have to save it elevation elevation 1 save the file is saved so now we will add some texture here and we will add the lines over here so i'm taking a rectangle over here this part so I'm going to take this 6 feet 8 inches one so I'm gonna copy this and also like this up and copy over here here so now copy this all so that we we'll, can make it very easy. Select so here, select this point, and again over this point, and again over this point, and again over this point. So and again over this point. Or this point so delete the remaining ones so now we will move all this so I'm going to select all these objects and move enter so I will select this point so we are done with that. so I need to trim this if we see so now we have also create lines over here also so I'm taking offset of 2 inches so again I am taking a offset of 1 inch so again I am taking offset of 2 inch so I am going to repeat this copy so this point is this now select this over here and again here and again here so again here 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 so after that again one copy select this line up to here click on enter now select this first point. Now select this here. And again select this point over here. And again 
this point and again this point so and again this point the remaining we will, we will delete this all so here we can see now we have to trim this we have to trim these parts so that it's visible clear So, so if you want to delete this one, so now we will copy this object. So we need to again, we need to delete 